let's say uh, there's my cup of coffee. Let's say it starts out at a temperature, T initial, TI for T initial, is 100 degrees Celsius. And let's say it cools down, uh, so T final, to uh, 30 degrees Celsius. And it does it in a time of five minutes. And let's say I've got, uh, how much coffee have I got here? That's about a half a liter. No, a quarter of a liter, so it's about 0.25 liters, 0 0.25, 250 cubic centimeters. So I got a volume of 250 milliliters or 250 cubic centimeters. A milliliter and a cubic centimeter are the same. Hmm. And it's water, pretty much. So the specific of heat of water is pretty nice to work with. It takes one calorie of energy to raise a gram of water which is also a cubic centimeter of water, the way the densities work out. One Celsius degree. All right, so that's, that's for water, and we'll be pretty close to that, using coffee. Now, let's see. I'm going to say cooling coffee up here. So my first question is, I'll call it A. What's the cooling rate? Well, let's see. The cooling rate is the temperature difference over the time. I don't need to calculate the temperature difference here, so instead of doing it twice, I'll just do it right here. The temperature difference is the final temperature minus the initial temperature, which is 100 degrees Celsius minus 30 degrees Celsius, which is 70 and it's a temperature difference, so it's 70 Celsius degrees. And the cooling rate is the temperature difference over the time, which is 70 Celsius degrees divided by 5 minutes, which is 14 Celsius degrees per minute. I could change it into the number of Celsius degrees per second if I wanted. Right, let's see, uh, one minute per 60 seconds. But I didn't ask for a specific unit, so we'll stay with that. Now, the next thing we should do is we should calculate the heat absorber, I'll call it B. So B, how much, the heat emitted, excuse me, how much heat was emitted as the coffee dropped from 70 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius? Heat emitted is the mass of the water times the specific heat times the temperature difference. Now, in this case, I don't have the mass of the water. If I had it in grams, I'd be set, but I don't. I've got the volume instead of the mass. Those are two different things. So I need to actually calculate the mass of water. Mass density is mass per volume. So the mass of water would be equal to, I'm just multiplying both sides by the volume, to solve for the mass. The mass of the water is the mass density of water times the volume of the water, well, coffee. It turns out that water is really nice to measure. It's one gram per cubic centimeter. That's the density. And the volume is uh, 250 cubic centimeters. Did I do it right? Yeah, the cubic centimeters cancel out. I've got 250 grams of water. Pretty trivial when you got one gram per cubic centimeter. Uh, you still need to run this, you need, you need to show this calculation because you're not always using water. So I need to make sure you know how to do the calculation. So the thermal energy is the mass, which is 250 grams, times the specific heat of water, which is one calorie per gram per Celsius, Celsius degree. It takes a calorie to raise a gram of water one Celsius degree. It only takes like a fifth of, cal of a calorie to raise a gram of air one Celsius degree. Because it doesn't store the energy the same way. Grams cancel. The temperature difference from here is 70 Celsius degrees. I already calculated that. Celsius degrees cancel. And so let's see, we've got uh, 
17,000, let's see, what's that word? 1750, 17,500 calories. I should check that. 250 times 70. Yeah, 17,500 calories. So that's the energy that's emitted. And remember, these aren't food calories. A food calories are 1,000 of these, so this would be 17 and a half food calories lost as it cools. Now, finally, C. We've calculated the energy loss, 17,500 calories. Let's calculate the heat transfer rate. The heat transfer rate is the rate at which the heat was transferred, the thermal energy. So that's the rate at which that 17,500 calories of energy was lost to the atmosphere. And it took five minutes. And so that's going to be uh, 3,500 calories per minute. On average, it was losing more in the beginning, less than uh, towards the end as the temperature difference went down. But on average, you've got a heat transfer rate of about 3,500 calories per minute. This is the heat transfer rate for materials for uh, thermal energy being absorbed or emitted by a substance. There's another type of uh, heat transfer rate for energy being transported across a material, and that's what we'll talk about next.